Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have an exciting video lined up for you with some key concepts in theoretical physics, especially if you are preparing for exams. Before we jump into our MCQs covering quantum field theory like groups and electronic interaction, I would like to ask for your input on something. As we go through these important topics, I understand that having a PDF with all the questions and answers might be really useful for your revision. So I am considering sharing a PDF with all the MCQs we discuss in this video. To make this happen, I would love to hear from you. Please suggest a platform where I should share the PDF so you can download it easily. I will check your comment after 7 days and decide based on your feedback. Now let's start our discussion. So number 1. What is the fundamental concept of quantum field theory? It is the framework for combining quantum mechanics and special relativity. So, 2 is your correct option. Next, what is a Lie algebra and how is it relevant to quantum field theory? It is the mathematical structure describing symmetries and conservation laws. So, 2 is your correct option. Next, what is the electroweak interaction and how does it unify electromagnetic and weak nuclear forces? It unifies electromagnetic and weak nuclear forces at high energies. So, 3 is your correct option. Next, what role does the Higgs mechanism play in the standard model of particle physics? It gives mass to fundamental particles via the Higgs field. So, 2 is your correct option. Next, in the direct equation, the alpha, particle, alpha matrices are 4 cross 4 matrices representing the components of the relativistic momentum. So, 3 is your correct option. Next, the beta matrix in the direct equation represents the rest mass and x as a built-in identity matrix in the direct equation. So, 4 is your correct option. Next, in quantum field theory, what does the term Hermann diagram refer to? It is the graphical representation of particle interaction. So, 1 is your correct option. Next, in quantum electrodynamics, the interaction between charged particle is mediated by which particle? By photon. So, 2 is your correct option. Next, what is the role of the Higgs field in the standard model? To provide mass to particles through spontaneous symmetry breaking. So, 3 is your correct option. Next, which of the following is true about the concept of renormalization in quantum field theory? It involves removing infinite from the theory to obtain finite prediction. So, 1 is your correct option. Next, what is the key difference between bosons and fermions in quantum field theory? We know bosons can occupy the same quantum state while fermions cannot. So, 2 is your correct option. And bosons follow Bose Einstein statistics and fermions follow Fermi direct statistics. And bosons are integer, bos, bosons having integer spin and fermions having half integer spin. Next, 12. In quantum chromodynamics, the force carrying particles called gluons. So, 2 is your correct option. Next, what is the primary purpose of the direct equation in quantum field theory? To unify quantum mechanics with special relativity for spin half particles. Remember, direct equation for spin half particles and later we will discuss about the claire gordon equation that is for spin zero particle. Okay. So, here option 2 is your correct option. Next, 14. Which of the following matrices are part of the gamma matrix used in the direct equation? Identity matrix and Pauli matrices. So, 1 is your correct option. Next, 15. 
which of the following is a key feature of the direct equation that distinguishes it from this Schrodinger equation? Direct equation means spin half particles. Okay, so it accounts for the spin of the electron. So one is your correct option. Next, sixteen. In the context of the direct equation, what does the existence of negative energy solution imply? It is the presence of antimatter. So one is your correct option. Next, what is the significance of the Klein Gordon equation in quantum field theory? So we have seen direct equation for spin half particles and Klein Gordon equation for spin zero particles. So it is the relativistic wave equation for spin zero particles. So two is your correct option. Next, the Klein Gordon equation was the first attempt to formulate a relativistic wave equation. What major problem did it encounter? It led to the solution with negative probability density. So, two is your correct option. Next, what type of particles does the direct equation primarily describe? It is spin half. Okay, so spin half fermions. So, three is your correct option. In Klein Gordon, spin zero particles. Next, how does the Klein Gordon equation differ from the direct equation in terms of the type of particle it describes? The Klein Gordon equation describes spin zero particle while the direct equation describes spin half particle. So, two is your correct option. Next, direct Hamiltonian for a free particle is. Okay, so you should remember the expression Hamiltonian equals to C times alpha dot P plus B M beta M square. So, one is your correct option. Next, what type of particles does the photon represent in quantum field theory? Photon are the bosons. So, two is your correct option. Next, in quantum field theory, what is the vacuum state? It is the state of minimum energy with no particles present. Okay. So, one is your correct option. Next, which type of symmetry is fundamental in quantum electrodynamics? It is the gauge symmetry. Okay. So, two is your correct option. Next, 25. What is the significance of gauge symmetry in quantum field theory? It leads to the fundamental forces in nature. So, two is your correct option. Next, what is the significance of the Pauli matrix in the context of the direct Hamiltonian? They are used to describe the interaction of spin with an external magnetic field. So, one is your correct option. Next, which of the following relation is correct? Okay, so remember alpha matrices are 4 cross 4 matrices. And always remember square of alpha matrix will give you an identity matrix and alpha matrices always anti-commute. Anti-commute. That is the component of alpha matrix like alpha x alpha y anti-commute, alpha y alpha z anti-commute, alpha z alpha x anti-commute. Similarly, alpha beta in pair also anti-commute. Okay. So, all of the above relations are correct. So, 4 is your correct option. Which of the following relation is correct? So, we know alpha and beta anti-commute. Okay. So, all of the above relations are correct. So, 4 is your correct option. Which of the following relation is correct? You know, the square of the alpha matrices will give you identity matrices. Okay. So, this is node 1. This is identity matrix I. So, all of the above relations are correct. So, 4 is your correct option. Next, what does the Klein Gordon field describe in quantum field theory? We know. Klein Gordon field defines a scalar field for spin zero particle. So, two is your correct option. Next, what does charge conjugation symmetry imply in quantum field theory? It is the invariance of the system under charge reversal. So, one is your correct option. 
which of the following relation is correct beta square equals to identity matrix okay sigma y square identity matrix sigma z square identity matrix sigma x square identity matrix so all of the above relation are correct so five is your correct option next 33 what is the significance of the noether theorem in quantum field theory it states that every symmetry corresponds to a conjure quantity okay so one is your correct option Next, 34. Which boson is responsible for the electromagnetic force in the standard model? That is photon. So, 3 is your correct option. Next, 35. In the context of electroweak theory, what role does the photon play? It is a massless carrier of the electromagnetic force. So, B is your correct option. Next, what does SU2 stand for in the context of Lie groups? It is a special unitary group of dimension 2. So, 2 is your correct option. Next, 37. What is the role of the W and Z bosons in electroweak interaction? They mediate the weak force. Okay. So, 2 is your correct option. Next, what is the basic property of Lie groups that makes them important in quantum field theory? They describe continuous symmetries. Okay, so, 2 is your correct option. What is a Lie algebra? This is a structure that describes the infinitesimal transformation. So, 2 is your correct option. Okay. Last questions. Today's Last question. 40. What is the meaning of the term asymptotic freedom in quantum field theory? The strength of the interaction decreases at high energy. Okay, so 2 is your correct option. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this question and explanation helpful for your studies. If you found this video useful and would like to get the PDF with all the MCQs for revision, Remember to drop your suggestion for a download platform in the comments below. I will review your feedback after 7 days and decide the best way to share it with you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Feel free to share your thoughts or questions in the comments and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks again for joining me and see you in the next video.